Alright. If you could, uh, family, this is uh, Horace Hibbert. Uh, he's come on the trip. Uh, we just see if you could just introduce yourself to the family and just let everybody know where you're coming from. Oh, well, my journey is very unique. Yeah. Like, unlike most who were born in like the U.S. and other European countries. Yeah. I was born in a, in a Caribbean island, Jamaica, and I moved to Canada at the age of I think 10 or 11 years old, around that time period. And um, the level of racism that I experienced in a new, quote unquote, country that just gave me great opportunities was mm -hmm. never ended. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't see myself living in a place like that and being a slave and being oppressed on a daily basis. So one day I was just laying down on my bed and I dozed off and I had a dream. Uh huh. And my ancestor was in that dream and they told me I, I wasn't where I'm supposed to be and I wasn't who I'm supposed to be. Uh huh. And in that dream, what I saw was royalty. Oh. And they showed me seven women. I don't know if they were supposed to be my wives or whatnot, <laughs> but I know they were African. Jeez. And when I woke up, I was a different man, and I had this urge to come to Africa. Were the women there? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. The answers to show me imagery. I don't know. Man. Like it was so surreal that I couldn't even. Like it's so hard to describe. It's like it's, like a, it's a feeling. Uh huh. When I when I woke up, I had an urge to come to Africa. <laughs> And I started looking at how I'm gonna come. Uh, I found Bamani on YouTube. Mm. And I was skeptical because <laughs> there's a lot of us that talk a lot of craziness. Scam artists and yeah. run off at the mouth. Yeah, they don't they don't practice what they preach, right? So uh -huh. I kinda researched Bamani for a while. Uh -huh. You know, see who who's gone before and you know. It seemed legit, so I'm like, okay, I'll take a chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? yeah. I'm not being real. <laughs> Right, so you know, he called me after I, I contacted him like real quick. I'm all right, at least he can do, he does that, uh huh. You know, and then I made my down payment. I didn't even, ah, I like down payment, done, done. I'm going, man. And um, you know, I'll work and make some more money and paid off everything. Well, would you say that he at least meet or exceed your expectations compared to the others? <laughs> <laughs> It's you know, gotta be real. real. I'm being real. <laughs> I mean, honest, man. I don't, I don't filter nothing. You know. Well, um, uh, from this trip so far, what would you say? The, one, the one thing I'm gonna say is, okay. um, everything, everyone I've seen about Africa over in the West, mm -hmm. it's all a lie, man. Mm -hmm. This is the richest place on the planet. <laughs> I mean, it. I saw gold in the water in a river. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right, people. You know, like, and there's so much food, man. You can't starve in Africa. You drop a couple of seeds, the plant's gonna grow. There's bananas everywhere, <laughs> plantains everywhere. Yeah, and there's yam in the ground. That's right. You know, no, mm -hmm. you know, none of the Irish potato. <laughs> the lies, man. Yeah, I mean, and for the fellas out there, man, <laughs> you cannot lose. Like, even the average one is your best option over here. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna go into detail. <laughs> yeah, I believe like that. <laughs> okay, so what would you say would be some of your most memorable moments well, on I'm, the trip? I'm, like, the memorable moments on the trip would have been um, I can't really say on camera <laughs> because <laughs> because it was, it was either from the dream or from the, the no, it, okay. It, it, was, it, was, it was it was from uh, it was from going out a couple of nights. Okay. And, uh, witnessing things that I didn't like, think would ex exist over here. It exceeded your expectations. Yes. <laughs> um, but I mean, uh, on, on a real man, I mean, yeah. the most I say intriguing thing and the thing that I appreciate the most was the people. Uh huh. Like mm -hmm. these people are so warm and humble. Mm -hmm. Like they don't, they don't even like um, feel like feel inferior. I mean, they mm -hmm. don't have much, but mm -hmm. they still, they still smile. They still happy. Yep. You know. Yeah. So over in over in Canada and the U.S., people are miserable. That's right. Depressed and it's like they're always on eggshells mm. because of the system, the oppression. You know, like you will never have that over here, and you don't have to worry about a cop shooting you. Because right. I don't see any. I right. probably see like five cops since I've been wow. here. Wow, wow. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's such a relief not to have that burden, man. Right. 
So would you say that this is a, a good tour uh, as an introduction to Africa or just I mean, it's a good introduction to West Africa. Right. Because East Africa is a different environment, environment. different culture. Mm -hmm. But for a first time experience, I think Ghana is the best introduction. Yes. Especially if you're from the Caribbean and right. the US and Canada. Right. Because you're more likely to somewhat culturally relate. Right. Like, you know? So what would you say to those out there that are like on the fence or contemplating? Man, jump off the fence and come over. <laughs> <laughs> on some border stuff. <laughs> on some US border type stuff. <laughs> yeah, just jump over. Just come right over, man. Like, Forget the fence. Like, you know, going backwards ain't gonna work for you. You, know? <laughs> you can't just stay in Babylon. Yeah. Going back, you're just gonna end up with the hounds. You know, the hounds gonna get you. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well, if there's anything, last things you want to say to the family? Yeah, I mean, don't believe the hype they show you over there. Uh-huh. Come take the trip for yourself. You know? Yeah. Come back. I see. And feel what Africa have to offer you. Like, you'll never be disappointed. I, I promise you that much. All right. And that's a wrap. Man. Hey, that's a wrap, man. Horace Hibbert. Thank you. <laughs> no problem.